Hi guys, this is my second video in English and what I'm going to show you now is how how do you make a realistic glass with liquid inside, okay? And for that we are going to use an studio shot, okay? So I'm going to prepare my studio here and let's make uh, a box here and use our arch tool to do something about just like that and let me use my arch again and then use my line tool to close this one as well and then use my push and pull to take all that off okay so I'm going to erase those edges and stay only with that shape okay that will be our studio let's select with triple click let's smooth with soften edges okay and then reverse the face there is one important thing that I must tell you is if you want to render something on very first SketchUp that it is totally white you have to paint it because if you try to render this face here it looks like white but it gets uh, yellow feel okay and yellow color and that's not white if you want to paint something to to render something white you have to color with uh, a, a white color okay 100 percent white let's paint either our back face just to stay beautiful and I'm going to do now is to create my glass here I've done already my glass shape and a circle here with a lot of segments 70 I will select it and use my follow me tool to create my shape my glass and then I'm going to smooth it let's smooth soften and smooth edges all right let's group it make group and then I'm going to say oh my god I've selected my shape there let's explode that and then let's deselect that and make a group here use the soften and smooth edges because I'm going to show you here no you don't need you don't need just select now our um, circle here and let's do the same here reverse faces and smooth soften smooth edges alright and make a group then select both and move it to our studio I think we have to decrease our scale here right something about there and then center it more or less something just like this and then we have to create our lights okay until now what we got is something just like that all right I have to move it up a little bit 
so make sure you are selecting our glass and our liquid and move it up to something insignificant to our eyes but very significant to V-Ray for SketchUp if you are working with met meters you can just type uh, 0 0.002 okay we can see it with our eyes but it will do something that we don't want to show up okay it will fix something we don't want to show up and now let's go to our lights and I have to split this video in two because YouTube don't only give me 10 minutes of video and I, I think I need a little bit more than th than that so I'm going to set up my lights here just three or two videos I don't know yet but I will choose uh, the V-Ray rectangular light and I'm just going just to create one here select it and move it up rotate me I'm rotating use the move tool and then move it down I think a little bit higher and okay now let's make our second light here it will be more thinner and higher so let's move it up and then rotate just a little bit something like that okay and then I, I need my third light okay I'll make it just here I will select my very rectangular I need that to be smaller and let's move it up rotate it and move something about there okay um, let me see what we have got until now let I think we have to move the second second light just move it way away a little bit okay that's fine so let's see it 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 will over bright for now but i just want to set up my camera okay before my times go away so let's make a, a quick render here I need to zoom in a little bit let me see render that's okay okay so I will just orbit a little bit and create my scene add a scene and for now I think that's it okay we we have one more minute let's just go to our options and say load treat priority and let's just um, smart our default very material or very light or default lights and uh, environment let's decrease to 0.4 okay so that's it in next video we will um, set up our strength of our lights and the material okay and the trick next I will show you what is the trick to make realistic glass with liquid inside okay that's it